What is this? What is it indeed? What you're looking at is sediment. 22 up to 24 inches in some places. The, the more important question is where it is. It's in a water storage tank. Yes, a potable water storage tank, the kind you drink from. Sediment in the floor of water storage tank. Yeah, it's city drinking water. It's come in a little bit at a time over years. And that's the problem. Sediment can be a habitat for bacteria and viruses and protozoa like cryptosporidium. Where you see it in layers there is where bacteria is actually growing. And this can be a health concern, as the EPA points out. Over 260 contaminants have been reported in drinking water served to the public. Between 84 and 88, there were 12 waterborne cryptosporidius outbreaks, the worst being in Milwaukee, where 400,000 people experienced intestinal illness and more than 4,000 were hospitalized. At least 50 deaths were contributed. The EPA has even determined that hepatitis A I can live up to four weeks in sediment. What's to do about it? The best thing is to remove it from the water storage system. Our company does that with divers. We put a diver into the system. He's completely sealed in his own environment. He's washed down with a chlorine solution to meet American Water Works Association standards. Then he goes into the system. Once there, he can move about freely to inspect the system, see how much sediment's there, and like you were watching right here, you can clean it out. We're removing two to three inches of sediment off the floor, pumping it out of the pump you just saw. And doing it without wasting any potable water. This water is has been treated already and it's in storage waiting to go to your tap. So this is a valuable commodity and we're, we are able to go in here with with divers because he's completely sealed in his own environment. Everything that is on him is bought for and only used in potable water. There you see he's got a uh, tank on his back. He's also being supplied air from the surface and he's got a communication system on. This is a very specialized kind of diving, and it requires entering, of course, in a, into a confined space that there's not even any air. <laughs> so even more dangerous than a normal confined space where you have uh, little air. There is no air here at all. We have to bring our own. And our diver has his preference for his uh, favorite TV show. You got to make sure you get a good look at this. Number one. Yeah, okay. Get back to work. So, whether it's a half inch of sediment or multiple inches, like we saw at the start of the video, where it could be 24 inches, we've seen it as much as three to four feet. I've even seen a tower with six foot of sediment in it. That can harbor an enormous amount of bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and hundreds of other contaminants that's been found in the nation water supply. The problem with this is it's just easy to forget about. You can't see it unless you pay somebody to look. You know, you can drain the tank, but nobody has time for that. They need the water that's in the tank to be working. They need it there to go to the tap. They need it there for fire hydrants or fire protection. So the best thing to do 
is hire somebody that can look without draining the water. Hire a dive crew to go look at it. Hire a somebody with a remote underwater camera. Hire somebody with a ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. They can survey the tank and see if there's any reason to take the tank out of service for repairs or if it needs to be cleaned. The traditional way to clean a tank is to get up there with a bucket and shovel and that just doesn't really get enough. If you've got bacteria and viruses in the tank, that is not going to remove it. Maybe a three or four inch pump to create enough suction to really remove the uh, sediment. Everything that's loose on the bottom of the tank is gone. The sediment can't hide when it's being sucked out. Bacteria can't hide in the sediment. The sediment's gone. The bacteria's gone. Where we see some like Indian ink here, it's just got uh, all kinds of stuff growing in it. We appreciate you looking at our video. Thanks to the dive crew. And this will be the end. Check out ronparent.com for more information.